Think of this. You walk into a government office to get your birth certificate. You are instantly given a form and told to go to counter 6. At counter 6, they tell you to visit the next counter because a person at counter 6 just went for lunch. You feel frustrated and when you reach the other counter, they tell you that the form is incomplete because you forgot to attach your horoscope. Sounds familiar, right? Now imagine this AI. Your documents are processed in minutes, not months. No missing files, no frustrating rounds of paperwork, and no rushing from one counter to the other. Well, artificial intelligence might just turn this dream into a reality for India's massive bureaucratic machinery. India's government is one of the world's largest employers, with over 20 million employees across central and state departments. These offices handle billions of citizens' requests annually, process countless documents, and manage trillions of rupees in public funds. But let's be honest, we all know the problem. Files gather dust moving from one desk to another, Citizens struggle with complex procedures and corruptions eats away the public resources. But what is the way out? The answer is AI. States like Karnataka and Tenangana are already experimenting with AI assistance for citizen services. These systems can handle queries 24-7 in multiple Indian languages, guiding citizens through application processes and track data in real time. But this is just the beginning. According to a report by Deloitte, India is among the forerunners in embracing the Gen AI wave. The government in response has committed a five-year budget of Rs 10,372 crore for the India AI mission. Let's see how AI is already making a difference and could further transform three areas of government functioning. Take Telangana's T-Chits for example. It is an AI-based chatbot for chit fund administration. Next up, the Digidan Mitra. Chatbot simplifies digital payment queries for citizens boosting digital literacy. Another example is Bhashini, an AI-powered language translation platform that helps bridge linguistic gaps by translating government documents and services into multiple Indian languages. And actually, I'm very sure people who travel a lot must have heard of the Indian Railways as Disha chatbot. It handles over 1 lakh queries daily, assisting passengers with ticket bookings, refunds, and train schedules. Additionally, the IRCTC's AI Virtual Assistant improves user experience by making online transactions seamless and efficient. There's also the Ideal Train Profile, another AI-driven tool by Indian Railways, which optimizes seat allocation by analyzing booking patterns, boosting efficiency and revenue. Union Minister Ashwini Vaishna aptly said, AI is not just a tool, but a revolution that can make government processes seamless and enhance accountability. One of the biggest bottlenecks in the government offices is the slow pace of document verification. But worry no more, because AI is already transforming the space. For instance, the income tax department uses AI to process tax returns faster and detect irregularities, saving thousands of crores in unpaid taxes. The Ministry of Corporate Affairs leverages AI to analyze company filings and flag non-compliance. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has emphasized, India is powered by two AIs. For the world, it is artificial intelligence. But in India, it's aspirational India plus artificial intelligence. When the two meet, it accelerates India's growth. AI doesn't just speed up processes. It also helps in better decision making. Take Telangana's case for instance. A project assisted farmers to decide the quality and price by providing quick reports via AI algorithms which check the physical, chemical, and all the other parameters of their chili crops. In a pilot project, the Delhi police utilized AI to predict crime-prone areas, improving personal deployment. Another transformative initiative is the India Urban Data Exchange, an AI-powered platform that facilitates data sharing between urban bodies, enabling better traffic management, waste collection, and resource allocation. For successful AI implementation, India needs a robust policy framework. Data protection comes first, ensuring citizen privacy, secure storage of sensitive information, and clear access controls. We need comprehensive guidelines for AI use in government decisions, ensuring fairness, and maintaining human oversight on critical matters. This is an important aspect. Government staff needs training in AI systems, and departments need technical expertise. This means creating new roles for AI management, and establishing centers of excellence within government departments. We are not replacing humans. We are empowering them with better tools. So, where do we go from here? Start small. Starting with pilot projects in select departments allows learning from successes and failures before scaling up. Public-private partnerships can bring in expertise and share development costs. Real-world examples show promise. Karnataka's IRIS system 
monitors government employees attendance and productivity the department of telecommunication uses ai to detect illegal mobile connections and curb financial fraud these initiatives will demonstrate how ai is already making governance smarter and more efficient critics might argue that ai could make government services impersonal or exclude certain populations these are valid concerns but the solution lies in thoughtful implementation AI should complement human officials, not replace them entirely. It should simplify processes while maintaining the human touch where needed. The integration of AI into Indian government departments isn't just about technology. It's about reimagining governance for the 21st century. While challenges exist, the potential benefits for citizens, efficiency, and transparency makes this transformation worth pursuing. Think about it. What if every government service was as easy as ordering food online? What if corrupt practices could be automatically flagged and prevented? What if government decisions became more transparent and data driven? These aren't just dreams, they are possibilities that AI can help you realize. The question isn't whether AI will transform Indian governance, but how will we manage this transition? Share your thoughts in the comments below. What's your experience with government services? How do you think AI could help us? And also don't forget to like and subscribe for more insights into technology and governance in India. This is Mayank. See you in the next one.